Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Stubborn wild ones, you guys just don't get it. You're not supposed to be here. It's not natural. You're coming back with me to the forest where you belong. <laughs> ah! Save me! Save me! Stop, evil space dog! You will not take Princess Gracie from her peaceful planet! I'll fight you to the end to protect her! <laughs> woof, woof, woof! Row! Woof! Uh, that's the most evil plan I've ever heard! Huh? <laughs> Awful! Freaky! <sighs> Honey, don't worry, they'll be fine. You really think so? Of course, they did fine the last time we left them, and it's barely two days. They've got plenty of food and water. <laughs> I guess you're right. <laughs> <Yeah>! <laughs> you guys are gonna stay home the whole weekend by yourselves. Come on, honey, we can't miss our reservation. The oysters are calling me. We'll be back before you know it. You guys be good. Oops, the dry cleaning. Yes, Mrs. L. We'll pick it up and drop it off within 24 hours. Guaranteed. Oh, we won't be here tomorrow. Can you just drop it in the backyard? Backyard. Got it, Mrs. L. <laughs> Days to relax, oh naturel! <laughs> Grossness! May I suggest you get these cleaned while you have the chance? The laundry guy will be here soon. <laughs> it's so bad I can't even see. <laughs> yeah, probably time <laughs> to freshen these up. Delicious! This is exactly what I've been dreaming of the last few weeks. And it's so romantic. Uh. Uh. Honey, I feel a little weird. Yeah, things are looking kind of strange. before it gets worse. Ugh. Oh, this is great. I forgot how much fun it is to scratch all day. Oh, yeah, massive scratching. Yeah, you can scratch those hard to reach places. Yeah, it's nice to also be our normal selves a little bit too. Yeah. Ah. Oh, you're right! To be wild without being in the wild! Yeah! We can be totally wild! <laughs> Ow! Oh, 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 oh. What are you doing? Do I look pale and green and sweaty all over? Are my eyes blotching red? No? Why? I thought maybe I was having a fever dream. All this wildness around me is all just too weird. <laughs> oh, come on, Vic. We're just having some fun. Join us. Uh, no. House cats do not act wild. Oh, there's gotta be a lioness in there somewhere. Oh, 
Come on, give me a big cat roar. Meow? That's all you got? Please. Really good. because I'm seeing crazy things right now. Really sick. Seeing things? Do I look pale and green and sweaty all over? Are my eyes blotching red? No. Why? I thought maybe I was having a fever oh. dream. All this wildness around me is all just too weird. I've got an idea. It's a long shot, but it's the only one we've got. We're gonna have to stall them as long as we possibly can until our costumes arrive. But also, they'll think it was all just a really weird fever dream. <laughs> Stop, evil villains, unhand the princess. Help me, help me. Take me to your leader! I'm taking over the planet! Help me, help me! I'm a wild, wild lion, and you are my prey! Because if the laundry man sees Mitch, he'll freak out and we might not get our costumes back. <laughs> hey, Mitch! Why don't you pick on someone your own size? <laughs> I'm gonna get you! Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
got you! I finally got you! <laughs> Goodbye! Have a nice trip! in our house. What? Me too. But there were also weird spaceships and monsters in mine. Me too. Wild. <sighs> it was all just a crazy <laughs> dream. Oh, you smell just like a fresh pillow. I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Sounds like you really don't want her in here. I don't. Okay, well, if that's how you feel. I'll go get her. Winter sweaters in a nick of time. <laughs> Who wants a nice hot cup of herbal tea? I do. We do it. This is Eugenie, Susie, and Sam. And of course, you know me, Washington, the guy who saved your life. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> She's so cute. Another girl in the house. <laughs> girl power. Yeah. Here's the deal. She can stay with us until it warms up a bit. Yes! It'll be like having her very own pet. She's a pet pet. Thanks for saving her, Wash. What can I say? Sometimes saving the day just feels right, you know? This definitely feels right. Come on, Mott. We'll show you around. And last but not least, the watering point. <laughs> okay, enough for today. Last one on the couch is going to pair.
What are you doing? I can't help it. It's every cat's primal urge to capture that moth. So that's why you didn't want her in here. <sighs> if only you could see the moth for the great addition she really is. Nick, maybe if you got to know the moth, you'd see she's really sweet. Trust me, that moth is the opposite of sweet. Come on, Vic. Remember, you once felt the same way about us. I still do. Huh? Susie and Eugenie, stay on Victoria. Don't let her get our new friend. Hi, Captain. Captain! Is it just me, or is this the nicest scarf ever? <laughs> huh? Huh? Oh, yes. There are even holes for ventilation. <laughs> on you, everything looks super. Well, that sweet remark just won you another cup of ylang ylang. That's what moths do. They eat wool. And you know what else they do? They never leave. This isn't good. Good luck with the new bestie, Captain Idiot. Look, it's gonna be okay. We can't get angry at the moth for not knowing the rules of living indoors. I mean, there was a time when we didn't know how to act inside a house either. I still don't understand why we don't all use the toilet. You see, moth, we had to learn to hide our natural instincts so we could live inside this nice house. It's true. I'm not really a cat, I'm a boar. I was born to roll in mud, but the one thing that separates cats from boar is, cats don't like to roll in mud. Really? That's the one thing that separates us? That and your furball problem. Anyway, I still need to roll around in something, so now I use raisins. It pretty much feels the same. And now when I'm done, no mess. I just eat the evidence. Either way, I win. Here's my story. Bunnies love carrots. I hate carrots. So I just pretend to like them, and then I bury them in the backyard. And no one knows a thing. I'm a bird pretending to be a bird. Well, I think we've explained to the moth how to get along in the house. Right, moth? Okay, okay, maybe we're just going about this wrong. If we can't get her to stop eating... <laughs> ole, ole, moth! Eat up, little friend. Ah! Problem solved. <laughs> Man, I thought you'd eat anything. Hmm? I tried, but I choked on the yarn. Wow, for a tiny creature, she can really put it away. Mm hmm. I'll go find more moth food as soon as I get my own breakfast. Most important meal huh? of the day. Sam, stop! Look at yourself! Ah! What if the living stone see Sam? We're gonna get kicked out of the house for sure! <laughs> Everyone stop panicking. Sam, until I figure something out, no leaving the room. The elves can't see you, even if it means no breakfast. What? I don't know what to say, Moth. I trusted you. <gasps> Moth! No! Oh! You couldn't listen to me. Moths are extremely annoying little bugs. They're not indoor pets. They're indoor nightmares. And it's just going to get worse. <laughs> Where's the no breakfast? I'm so hungry. Sammy? Is that you, boy? Oh. Oops. You need some private time. I'll leave you to it. If I were a moth, where would I hide? Aha! Meow! <laughs> Aha! She's not here! But she was. Where to? What does she say? May I help you pack? Idea! What if we unscrew every light in the house so the Livingstones won't be able to see me? 
I'll only come out at night when it's dark. They'll call me Night Cat. What? Bad idea? Yeah! What's going on here? Oh, well, that's adorable. We can't stay here. Your little help here. Look, you tried, we tried, but you're never gonna make it as an indoor pet. You just act too nuts. You think I like acting like this? Oh, you can talk? No one ever likes a moth. No one ever tries to see what's inside. Everyone only focuses on the back. Well, you do eat people's clothes and stuff. I can't help it. You have no idea what it's like not to want to be who you are. Hmm. I think we know a little something about not wanting to be who we are. I mean, I'm a fox pretending to be a dog. Lucky you. I'd do anything to be something else. I have an idea. How about I do what I do, and you do what you do? My behind is extra fuzzy. Well done, Moth. Your turn. <laughs> You're like a princess. <laughs> Not gonna lie, <laughs> she looks pretty good. So, are you ready to head out and see the world, Moth? I'm ready. Thanks, guys. You really are the best. <laughs> ah. Hmm. Don't even think about it. Oh, fine, just get it over with. Yeah! I'm gonna miss her. Are you kidding me? This place was crazy when she was here. Just admit it, you like that moth. Please, I only let it kiss me so it would go away. I think I helped you get over your issues with moths. You're welcome. Whatever. Can we please go back to our normal life? And by that, I mean where the only thing driving me crazy is you. Fine. Wild ones, let us resume our mellow, quiet life. Everyone relax. <laughs> yeah. Where's the green bath mat? <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Another reason to be thankful we're now indoor pets. What? What's the other reason? <sighs> I can't see anything except rain. That's what I mean. <clears throat> we're all nice and dry indoors. Instead of out in the rain for once. <sighs> What's wrong with the rain? That animal is a disgrace to cats. Seriously, Wash. Rainy days in the woods weren't so bad. Are you Kidding. We can never find a bush big enough to cover your butt. And my nuts would fill with rainwater. Me, I would always burrow deep into my foxhole until it was over. No 
wonder you decided to glom onto my awesome indoor life. Like pooping in a box? Okay, Washington, time to do your business. Let's go, boy. <laughs> Come on, Washington, I don't want to play chase right now. <laughs> Washington? <laughs> Come on, Wash, where are you? <laughs> Wash! <laughs> Mercy, not as young as I used to be. <laughs> is this fun for you because it is not fun for me? Come on, Wash, where are you? <laughs> Almost too easy. Gotcha! What has gotten into you? <laughs> what are you? <laughs> Honey! What's the matter? Washington won't go out. I don't know why he's acting this way. Maybe he just doesn't want to get soaked. Think about it, dear. Hey, I'm not the one who goes to the bathroom outside. Washington, I'm going to go dry off. Then I'm going to take an aspirin and lie down. When I come back, you are going outside. Ooh, you're in trouble. All right, all right. You don't have to make it so dramatic. What else are we going to do? Many days are boring. You just better hope the rain stops by the time Mr. L comes back. Big deal. Even if it does, no problemo. I can hold it. Not me. I gotta go. Be back. Get out of Let's all go together. <laughs> Guess I'm the only one who goes to the bathroom outdoors. Like a gentleman. How long can this rain last anyway? Washington? Washington? <laughs> but where the heck is that dumb dog? <laughs> wow. What the? This ottoman can use a good scrub. It stinks. Or I need to wash my feet. Oh, Washington! <laughs> what? I do not stink. A human's nose is a hundred times less sharp than ours, and he could still smell you. Yes, you do stink. <sighs> After dinner, tonight. No way! I bet for tomorrow, 8 a.m. I give him one more hour before he explodes. No, you guys are awful. I can't believe this is what you think of Washington, our friend. Thank you, Sam. He can last at least two days, and I'm willing to bet everything I've got on that. <laughs> <laughs> I can't decide if I'm flattered or betrayed. It's hard to think when you really, really have to go. <laughs> Ah! Not in your dreams, not in your imagination, not even in your imagination while you're dreaming. Fine, you're not the only one with a litter box. No, but I'm the only one with a litter box that employs anti-you technology. <laughs> this is a mess. Is that a bone? <sighs> Sam, what are you eating? No, <sighs> no. It would be more painful to use that litter box than to hold it in any longer. What 
is all this? Eugenie, your crate is filled with junk. It's not junk. A sleeping bag with storage pocket, a weird clock, a bunch of small portraits of numbers, and that's an apple. No oh, way, it's too tight. I need bathroom. 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 Stop! You can't fit in there. No, Washington, the need to pee is getting to your brain. You've gone crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Bathroom! I think it's time for action. Bathroom! Oh. <coughs> you know, splashing me with water isn't the best way to get me to forget that I have to go to the bathroom. <gasps> Wait! This is where the humans go. I can just use this room like they do. Some privacy, please. You can't. It's impossible. Who knows if humans even go to the bathroom? Of course humans go to the bathroom. How do you know? I've smelled things. Great, you can discuss this further outside. <laughs> Send me a recap. Okay, Washington, you can figure this out. What would a human do in here? <laughs> no, that can't be right. <laughs> How are you supposed to bury it after you're done? Maybe they use these to smell better after they've done their business. But there are so many different ones. Man, humans must really stink the place up. Well, I know it couldn't be this big water bowl. Who would do such a thing to perfectly good drinking water? Forget it. Maybe Sam's right because I don't see how humans can use this room at all. Privacy! <laughs> Go take a hike! No, oh, how can every bush be taken? I can't just go out in the open like this! I can't do this to food! No! Oh. How can so many things fit under one sink? No more choice! I can't hold it anymore! Wash? <sighs> Washington? <laughs> but what are you doing, boy? Just look at that! That's amazing! This little fellow just learned how to go by himself now. What a clever dog. This really deserves a photo, dear. Sure it does. <laughs> See you later, boy. And don't forget to flush when you leave. <laughs> ah, free at last. And it's a beautiful day now. Hmm, I like the smell of the grass after the rain. Don't worry, Betty. I got you covered. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. 
the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Today is the day! Wienerfest! <laughs> we won't be back until late! Did you hear that? Yeah. We have the house to ourselves all day! Huh? I call dibs on the couch! No way! And Wash, I'm counting on you to be my watchdog, okay? <laughs> okay, boy. Scare away all those burglars. Burglars? For real? Like on TV? Oh. Hmm. <sighs> Nap time. Yay! Yeah, oh. time! Are you two nuts or what? <laughs> <laughs> Go away! And if I find you, you're a big, fat, rotten pistol sprout! Sorry, Sam. I've got to focus. What? Oh, come on! You're gone for hours! This is our chance! Yeah, well, that was before Mr. Livingstone asked me to protect the house from burglars. <laughs> oh. Burglars? You mean like on TV? Uh, yeah. I guess so. Burglars? Are we scared of burglars now? Duh! You... Burglars! Like thieves who go into houses and steal people's stuff. There have been a bunch of burglaries in the neighborhood. Thieves have been stealing all the pet squeak toys. Their kibble. But most of all, the TV sets! <laughs> Sam, I'm the watchdog. I've got this. Watchdog, you? You think you could protect this house with your ridiculous bark? First of all, I've made some major progress with my barks. And second, I know how it's done. I've seen watchdogs on TV. All I have to do is make the rounds and secure the perimeter. Wow, he is like so brave. I want to be a watchdog too. Let's go watch TV and see how it's Shall we get some popcorn first? All right. No one. Nobody in here. Nobody here either. Nobody here either. So there's burglars trying to get into the house and there's no reason we should be worried? Of course there's no reason to be worried. Wash is here to protect us. Hmm? <laughs> Eat the popcorn! <laughs> Nothing in here. <laughs> All clear. <laughs> Nothing unusual in here. <laughs> Wash, it was just a joke. There haven't been any burglaries in the neighborhood. Did you say something? <sighs> Nothing in here. Nothing like a good burglar movie. But I'm still waiting to find out how you secure a perimeter. <laughs> Rest easy, guys. Nobody's in there. Oh, I can't find the house keys. Didn't you put them in my purse? Mm -hmm. You didn't. I... I did. I left the keys in the door. We're locked out. Maybe, just maybe, the door isn't completely closed. Maybe it will open all by itself. Friends, I have secured the perimeter. There isn't a burglar alive who'll be able to break in here. Ah! 
Someone is trying to get into the house. If you hadn't secured the perimeter, I'd even say it sounds like a... A burglar! A burglar? Wait a sec. This may all be a mistake. I'm going to try all my keys. You never know. Just a visitor. We're the living stones. Let's look through the mail slot. It is a burglar. A visitor would ring the bell, oh, yeah. and the owls have keys. Burglars, cool. Go, wash, go, save us. Yes, risk everything. Um, actually, you see, I'm not really sure how to. Of course, you know. Do like you learned on TV. Well, um, I secured the perimeter, but uh, I don't know what comes next. Bark, Wash, bark! That's what watchdogs do! But I don't know how to bark. You said so yourself! I take back everything I said. Please bark, pretty please, make those horrible burglars go away! Go away, yeah, Washington! Do, do it, please! <laughs> ah, arf, 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 wolf, wolf, arf! Yeah. Oh, yeah. we're sconers! They're gonna steal our toys and kibble and TV! Blash, I want you to know you're the best watchdog we've ever met! Even oh. though we've never met another watchdog! <clears throat> but he's not a watchdog! And for once in my life, I really wish I were wrong. Okay, so maybe I'm not a watchdog, but I am going to protect you! Listen up! Here's what we're gonna do. You guys are gonna go my and I'm gonna... Mm -hmm. oh, I'm gonna try the kitchen door. Maybe if I can wiggle through the cat flap, I'll be able to reach the key. <laughs> yeah! What happened to you? You know, I really wish you'd start putting your tools away. And do we keep flour in the bedroom? Uh, okay. Let's try the bathroom. <laughs> oh. oh, why, oh, why did I put all my bath stuff above the window? be a watchdog, but I sure know a thing or two about watching TV. No. No, Wash. Calm down now. Calm down. It's me. You can't believe a burglar. He's imitating Mr. L's voice, so we'll let him in. Getting through the front door, and Washington didn't even recognize me. And I gotta tell you, his bark is freaking me out. <sighs> big problems require big solutions. Hello, Mr. Locksmith? Well, those stupid burglars won't be coming back anytime soon. Oh, who's the greatest watchdog? Watchdog! Who's the greatest watchdog? Not good. The burglars have brought back up. Yeah, that was some major tools to open the door. No! Only one thing left to do. Eugenie, Sam, we gotta zip out of our costumes. What? what? The burglars won't expect to see wild animals in the house. If we can scare them, then we're home free. Me too, I'm gonna take off my costume. Did you open the door? How much do we owe you? Forget it! <laughs> <laughs>
It's free! As long as you promise to never call me again! The living stills are back! Quick! We're home! Good dog, good dog. What a great watchdog you are, Washington. Unbelievable. I almost wonder if he didn't understand when I told him to protect the house. No. Beware of dog. I never realized what a great watchdog Wash is. It's only fair to warn intruders they don't stand a chance around here. <laughs> Did you hear that, Vic? Beware of dog! So, who was it that said I was no watchdog, huh? Honey, you coming? We're gonna be late. Coming, dear. Taco Fest, here we come! Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. but also sweet and often delicious. Here comes the uncontested Lord of the Garden. Here comes the snail. Snail, 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 snails everywhere. And in city news, there appears to be a squirrel overpopulation problem, which is causing an acorn shortage. And that's making for some angry squirrels. Breaking news, everyone. We interrupt this broadcast to bring you news of Hercules, the dog who just saved a kitten from a hornet's nest. Wait, what's that? From two hornet's nests. Morse, this is one brave dog. Yes, Melody, and that's why the city has given Hercules a lifetime supply of sausages. And a hero medal, which itself is a dog biscuit. I think we can all agree that Hercules is everyone's best friend. <laughs> <laughs> and now, Melody, on to less exciting news. Sinkholes are popping up around the world. No! More about Hercules! The bravest pet ever. I want him to rescue me! <laughs> I really don't see what the big deal is. <laughs> Jealous? Jealous? Jealous of what? <laughs> Sausages. Which you'll share with me when you become a hero dog, right? Yes, yes, of course. We'll see. Oh, you think I can't be a hero dog. Fine, I'll just cross you off my friends to give extra sausages to list. Please, I'm all about salmon. <sighs> <laughs> Salmon! Ah, yes! Wait till you see this, Mrs. L. I'll save you, squirrel! <laughs> <laughs> has really gone to the dogs. The dumb dogs. At least he thinks I'm a dog. I'm doing something right. Help! Hmm? Help me, Washington! You're the only one who can save this dental in distress. That's cute and all, but I need something bigger. Whatever shall we do? Help! Save us, Washington! Only you are hero enough! You... Thanks, girls, but to find something that really needs saving. Huh? 
lots of people around, and that nice old lady stranded in the middle of the street. Hero time! Washington? No! Oh! You okay, ma'am? Stay away from me, huh? mongrel! Oh, sorry about that. Let me help you clean these up. Uh -huh. ah! Honey? You won't believe what just happened. He's coming! <laughs> Washington! So glad you could make it! We need a hero! Not now. There aren't any even humans around to watch me. But I'm recently deceased. Tell me, Washington! Uh, okay. Never mind. Huh? <gasps> Hero time! Arf, 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 woof, 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 arf! Ahem. <clears throat> arf, 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 woof, woof, woof! Huh? Arf, oh! Sam, Sam, look out for those! You! <laughs> ah! Huh? No oh, mercy for pedestrians! Uh. Oh, four wheels rule! Hero time! Yeah! <laughs> Out of my way, youngster! ignoring you, I saw Alfie and Gracie, and you know what Alfie and Gracie are, right? Human children! The most high-value thing you can heroically save! Huh? Excuse me, I've got some hero work to do. <coughs> I'm okay. But I'm really stuck! <coughs> there, saved. Perfect! Ha-ha! Uh, remind me again why we're taking their toys. Because, Sam, soon the kids will start looking for their toys. And then I'll be around to find them, and then I'll be the hero. Oh, now I get what you're trying to do. Brilliant! <laughs> Thanks. You're creating the danger by stealing the toys of two innocent little kids to fight <laughs> being a hero so you can get what you want. <laughs> Genius! Uh, wait! No, I... Uh... Ah! Our toys! <sighs> I'm not so sure. <laughs> but I thought you were... <sighs> You're right, Sam. Maybe this isn't such a good idea after all. Yeah? What did I say? But what about the sausages? Yeah, yeah, well, we're gonna have to make do with our regular pet food and table scraps, Sam. What I was doing was... <laughs> Wrong. Wrong? But how can it be wrong? We're talking about sausages here. Ah! Watch it! Ah! Ha ha, very funny. That's enough teasing out of you two for one day. Thank you very much. You. Ah! Eugenie! Susie! Ah! Washington, help! Eugenie! Susie! They're falling! Wow, really? You two?
too, Sam? And I thought we were pals. You have to go and taunt me too? Oh man, I gotta help them. Chuck's always partying. I'm coming, buddies! It's over! Hang on, friends! Flush! Swash, good job! Where's my medal? Where are the journalists? Where are my fans? Look, Albie! <laughs> Our toy! <laughs> oh. Thanks a lot, weird dog! just about to give him the Medal of Courage for his outstanding behavior in this particularly troubled time. Congratulations, little dog. You are my hero. <laughs> well done, dog. And as a special reward, here is two tons of kibble. <laughs> Dinner time. This reward is great, honey. But couldn't they have least packaged all this kibble? <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. We'll be back tonight, pets. Be good, no fighting. To the backyard! Last one, there's a rotten egg! Why? Are rotten eggs always late? Fit, aren't you coming? No, why would I hang with you and do something when I could hang out with me and do nothing? <laughs> what should we play first? Hide and hog seek. seek! It's <laughs> like you read my mind! Or I just wanted to play the same game as you. <laughs> Okay, buddy, you hide first. <laughs> You'll never find me. But Sam, we can totally see you. Shh. Ooh. <laughs> where, oh, where could Sam be? Hmm. It's like he's vanished. <laughs> You're not very good at this game. There you are! Yeah. Excellent high job, buddy! Yeah. Best friend, Paw Shake! Yeah. <laughs> 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 uh, what are they doing? Oh, that's just their super elaborate best friend, Paw Shake! They've been working on it for months! It's gotten out of hand! Whenever there's something to celebrate, we have to wait while they do this! <laughs> what I'm 
believe the hairball hawker means to say is that dogs and cats should not get along, let alone have best friend's portions. You don't know what I mean, dumb dog. Stop putting words in my mouth. What are those nerds up to? <sighs> I should do something about this, but... <sighs> oh, at least we don't do our business in a tiny indoor sandbox. That's pretty high and mighty coming from someone who sniffs butts. <laughs> See? That is the proper exchange for a cat and a dog. Not that. Yeah? <laughs> If I didn't know any better, I think those two weren't really a cat and dog at all, but rather uncultured wild beasts. <gasps> That's the one thing we can agree on, Fuzz Bucket. Something's not right. What? Of course we're a cat <laughs> and a dog. This isn't a paw shake. We're fighting. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Sam, we need to talk. I had no idea cats and dogs aren't supposed to get along. Duh! Of course they aren't. Any domesticated pet could tell you that. So, that's why you're always so unfriendly to me. No, that's just because you're annoying. Right, but if I were a cat... Nope. Don't like other cats either. I like me. What are you guys gonna do? You're best friends! But if you act like it, the neighbors might find out that we're not who we say we are. She's right. You two better go out there and show those pets that you can't stand each other. Otherwise, they'll get suspicious. Okay, Sam. It's not going to be easy, but from now on, we are mortal enemies. Why? What did I do? Sam, we're just pretending for the neighbors. Right. I'm going to have some trouble remembering that. It's hard not to look at you and not think, friends. We'll help you out. All right, so here's the plan. The first thing we need to do is remember that we absolutely... Wow, Sam and Wash just can't stand each other these days. What will they do to each other next? Yeah, their fights are getting delicious. I, I mean, vicious. Vicious, huh? This I have to see. Okay, Sam, that's your cue. <laughs> you can do this, Sam. You've seen Nick do it a hundred times. <laughs> this isn't gross. It doesn't bother me that I can taste everything that I stepped in today. Here I am, a cat doing what a cat does, hoping no dog bothers me. Arf, arf! <coughs> woof, woof! <laughs> Washington, you scared me half to death. Why would you do that? <laughs> because you're fighting. Yo, Ray, you're my enemy, cat. Yo, oh, yeah, you make me so mad. <sighs> and also hungry. Sam! But mostly mad. This isn't a fight. This is barely a quibble. We're losing them. You should be thanking me for the exercise, you lazy furbag! Oh, good one. <laughs> Sam, wait! I'm sorry! I knew it! They are friends! What is going on here? That's the most pathetic cat and dog fight in history. The only part I bought was that Sam's feelings were hurt. That's because they were. Sam, I didn't mean it. We were just putting on a show. It's not real. It felt real to me. Well, that's because I'm a fantastic actor. But we got to get back out there and convince them once and for all that we can't stand each other. Sam, most important, you have to insult him back. We cats are known for our great comebacks. Show me your best mean face, Sam. <laughs> Foaming at the mouth. Nice touch. Ew, that's just drool. I'm still hungry. That's it. I have an idea. Follow my lead. Ha ha ha! I stole your favorite blanket, and now I'm gonna ruin it. Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> Sam, you must be so upset. Yes, I mean, no, I'm so sad I 
could cry. Is he crying or imitating a seal? He's tanking! We got help! Okay, Sam, don't move! Huh? <laughs> Them. I need a real reaction out of him. Quit crying, cat. Here, have some catnip. You cats love it. Yo, uh, yes, we cats do love ketchup. Catnip? Yeah, catnip. Uh, I guess there's only one thing to do with this. <laughs> ah, silly cat, that wasn't catnip. It was poison ivy. Uh? No! Could you? See? Cats can never outsmart a dog. <laughs> oh, no. I'm not letting those two make cats look like idiots. Hey, Sam. Psst. Mm -hmm. Tell Washington that. <laughs> you may have tricked me, but at least I don't do cheap tricks for treats. What? <laughs> A good one. Score what for cats? Hey Sam, I may have to do tricks for treats, but at least I don't have to share my treats with fleas. Yeah. <laughs> I'd rather have fleas than worms. What? I do not have worms. Dogs are worms. Yeah, I mean, dogs are worms. <laughs> what? That's right. Hit him where it hurts. The only worm I know is you, and you're a furry worm at that. Glad I could help. Whoa, whoa. I think they forgot about us. Yep, that ought to distract them for a while. We can finally give up this stupid act. But I'm just getting the hang of it. <laughs> Not that I like it. You're my best friend no matter what. And you're mine. I only have feelings of awesomeness toward you. What is all this commotion? <laughs> <laughs> wow, look at those cats and dogs fight. They're like wild animals. Thank goodness you guys aren't like that. You're civilized. See? I say that as long as the L's are convinced, we're free to be besties. Yay! Best friend pushing? No, it'll take too long. Can't you guys celebrate a little shorter? I'll settle for a hug. Come on, buddy, let's go inside. Last one there's a monkey's uncle. What's so bad about that? I'd love to have a nephew with an endless supply of bananas. Must I do everything myself? <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. It's like a fluffy cloud, isn't it? Oh, sweet. Oh, 
honey. Should we let them in the bed? Hmm. Victoria's already here. Don't you think one is enough? But look how sad they are. Fine. All aboard! <laughs> A little to the left, Washington. Uh, that's my arm, Sam. You can't sleep in my shirt, Eugenie. Okay. Come on. Good night. I was here first. Does that mean anything these days? Now, Vic, there's plenty of room. Just bend at the right angle and don't breathe. Too much. My tail isn't a sleep mask, Sam. It works good. Go roll in some mud. I had a dream that I was falling. Oh, I guess it wasn't a dream. That's okay. I often dream I'm flying. Good morning, sunshine. Oh. Wait, honey, I'm going to prepare you another coffee. Is Mr. L okay? Hmm, the last time I saw him acting this weird was when Mrs. L told him her mother was coming to visit. Uh, hey, I must leave for work now. Bye, dear. I'm leaving for something. Hey, did the door shrink? Huh, that can't be good. Where does he go every day? The park, silly. Bye-bye, honey. Have a nice day. From now on, only one pet is allowed to sleep in the bed. Okay, honey. We'll try it your way. Only one pet in the First one there wins. <laughs> yes! I win! Fair and square. I win. It looks a lot less scary in that big bed. I'm sure Vic will understand. It's a thunderstorm. Uh, I don't think so. I think she'll be really cool. <laughs> Just... Uh, that's it! Everybody down! Look at them! They're frightened! <laughs> Fine. But just for... Yay! Tonight. This was supposed to be my night, you bunch of fake furs. about a rude awakening. Good stuff. Furry pets. I want to get them thrown off my human's huh? bed. Uh, deal. Spot stealers. I'll show you. <laughs> hmm. Please. She forgot we're protected by a shield of fake fur. A 
almost like superheroes. We're under attack! <laughs> Is it an intruder with itching powder? No, it's even worse! Jeez! All right, you flea bags. There's no way I'm gonna let you ruin my night ever again. First, a great big dip in the flea bath. Hose him off, darling. There you go, Sam. Go and get dry now. Now it's bath time for Bunny. All righty, dear, your turn. You can say goodbye to your parasites, Eugenie. Now go dry off with Sam. And now for the leader of the pack. A good spring cleaning to get rid of these invaders. The most infested of them all. There you go, Washington. Susie. Uh, amazing. She's going all by herself. Sorry, guys. You'll have to stay in there all day until the flea dip takes effect. Relax and dry off. I hope we're all less itchy tonight. Yeah, get comfy, guys. I'll be inside on the bed some more. By myself. <laughs> you may have won this round, Victoria, but just wait. As soon as we dry off and get released, you are toast, lady. Toast. Toast? If you mean warm and dry and loved by all, yes, I am. Ha! See ya. Are they dry yet? Mr. and Mrs. L will be getting home. <gasps> code red! We've got a code red! Everything all... Uh huh? Meow? Did I just... Oh. Never mind. I haven't been getting enough sleep lately. Come on out, guys. This isn't working. I can't see a thing. Come on. Ooh. Give them one more chance. No, honey. They're just too dirty. Let's face it. Victoria is the only one who grooms herself on a regular basis. <gasps> <laughs> A lady always keeps her boudoir clean. Meow. <laughs> Wait! I have an idea. This will never work. It doesn't stink enough. If only someone around you had a stinky litter box. Sam, what have you been eating? Anything. Now, we just need to make it look like it came from Victoria's box. Ooh, she's tracked cat litter all over the bed. Get out of here! What a crazy... <coughs> oh well, might as well join them. It's a little chilly in here. I'm gonna give you a blanket so you don't get cold. Gotta find some nice cool mud to sleep in. Good idea. Fly that boar flag. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, didn't wake up. What, Sam? I was having a dream. <laughs> huh? Huh? Shh! I know. Shh. Uh, just need some water. Hey, guys. <gasps> ah! Whew, that was close. What a beautiful night. Let's
not sleep on the chairs. <laughs> That's enough. Win some, lose some. Come on, Dick. There's plenty of room here. I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. What's that? Huh? Ha <laughs> ha! If you can't beat them, join them! Shh! Don't make a peep! A little more to the right! The best ever pet treats. Yep, this is it. Right? Of course not. Could anything that cute be dangerous? <laughs> Aww. Aww. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Look at them. They're already friends. Aww. <laughs> Aww. Now you guys all be nice to Baby. Aw, perfect name, honey. After all, he is just, just a, a baby. baby. <laughs> Okay, guys, we're off to work. Play nice. Aww, so, so cute. Hi, guys. Wow, this is comfy. <laughs> oh, what's that? It's, it's, it's a television. It entertains us. Oh, show me. <laughs> show me. <laughs> Funny. What else? Oh, more. Not that one. Not that one either. Nope, not that. Keep going. Wrong hmm? way. Hmm. Help me! No! Oh, I sorry, I Ah, now I'm thirsty. You guys have a lake I can drink? What? what? Ah. I 
any like. Gross. What? What is why? This. What you're doing? We don't drink out of the toilet, dummy. You don't? Well, what do you use it for? <sighs> Yep, sure do like it here. Don't go in there. It's toxic. <laughs> hey, I love that tune. Uh, uh, help me. Uh, 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 hey, Mitch, you know, Vic is a real pet, just like you and me. She's not some rag doll. She... No, hmm, uh, actually, it's annoying. <laughs> she doesn't really like to be held against her will, so maybe you could just... <laughs> and that's why we never hang out. <laughs> out of here. And it's all our fault. <laughs> we should have left more food for him. Baby's going on a growth spurt. <laughs> Aww, so, so cute. cute. <laughs> oh, baby bear. Our very own baby bear. <laughs> Come on, Russ, you're the bus. <clears throat> hey, Mitch, um, uh, been meaning to tell you about some of the rules around here. Yeah, like no hugging or smothering other animals without permission. It's just, you know, so we can all live in harmony, together. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of rules. In fact, yuck, it leaves a nicky taste in my mouth after I say it, and together makes me feel cramped. Yeah, but Mitch, we can all... No more all. I want to be the only pet in this house, except, of course, for little Vic. Ooh. Me. Uh, help me. Uh, oh, no. no. You got till sunrise to get lost. Back to the wild, dummies. And if you don't, I'll tear off your costumes and show the humans who you really are. <laughs> Big, dumb, unbearable bear. I don't want to leave. I love walls. No more sleeping in our comfy house. No more delicious treats? Or butt scratches or tummy rubs. Isn't there anything we can do? You heard what he said. He'll tear our costumes off if we don't. Tear our costumes off, he says. Hmm. Wait. Tear costumes off. It's a chance we'll have to take. Hungry. Oh, oh, I forgot I ate it all. Ah! Hmm. Hmm. You gotta get him really worked up. Yo, Mitch! What? Why are you still here? The sun is almost up! We're not scared of you anymore, Mitch. 
If you want us to leave, you're gonna have to make us. And we're not leaving without our friend Vic. No one tells me what to do. And Vicky doesn't want to go to the woods. She wants to stay here with me. Don't you, Vicky? <laughs> See? So I guess I'm gonna have to... Ah! Oh, what are you... Ouch! Oh, you're really gonna get it now, you stupid... <laughs> so fast. Hey, Mitch, want a cookie? <laughs> you want some more? Then come and get it! Oh. <laughs> well, 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 what do we got here? You're looking a bit lost, big fella. We're gonna take you back home to the forest, shall we? Thanks for that. You're welcome. Thank you guys for sticking up for me. You're, You're welcome. welcome. Phew. He's out of sight. It's high time he went back to the forest. We're so sorry, you guys. Poor babies. Aww. Aww. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. is here. Okay, any minute now, Mr. L will come out and we'll have our morning chase. Hi. Yeah. Good morning, Birdie. Good morning, little bunny rabbit. Good, you're up. I'm waiting for my morning cat bath. Oh yeah, that's the spot. You know, if I didn't know any better, I would think you really were a cat. I didn't say mm -hmm. stop. Well, well, well. Look who's ready for our morning paper chase. Hmm, we're not done, Sam. You still gotta do the inside of my ears. Sometimes I think dogs have more fun. <laughs> You're a good boy. <laughs> See, dogs have more fun. <laughs> Washington, I've been thinking. Ah, uh, be careful. I don't want you to hurt yourself. Bad things happen when you do that. <laughs> Somehow it doesn't seem quite fair that when we chose costumes, you got to be the dog. You get to have all the fun. Sam, being a cat is just as great as being a dog. Everyone knows that. Right. Then you won't mind switching with me. You can be the cat for a while and I'll be the dog. <laughs> Sam, being a dog is no longer just a role for me. It's a whole thing. We can't just suddenly switch like like that. 
Huh? That's weird. Where's Sam? I'm always the first one up. Oh no! Oh no! This is bad! <laughs> arf, arf. Huh? Sam! What are you doing? You're gonna get us what all- What incredibly clever dog has my morning paper? Mm -hmm. It's all over! We're done for! Arf! 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 arf. Uh... Wait! Sam is you? Is it opposite day already? No, not for another two months. But yeah, Sam's decided to be me. Oh, how fun! Yeah. Wait, what? No, not fun. Bad. Very bad. <laughs> oh, no. Game over. Any second now, the elves will realize that he's not me. Hmm. So far, it doesn't seem like they've noticed anything different. Nothing at all. Ha! <laughs> Sam, this is crazy. You don't know what you're doing. Trust me, being a cat is cake compared to being a dog. Hmm. Nice game, huh? boy. Arf, arf, arf. I know what Washington said. He says so many things. True, but he would be super fun to switch costumes. We can't. Yes, let's do it. Wash. Now that you're the other cat around here besides me, you're gonna have to act like one. Huh? Yeah, right. I've been sitting here patiently waiting for my morning cat bath, and we're way behind schedule. Ha! Ah, no way! Nuh -uh. Nope, not gonna happen. Never, ever. How strange. <laughs> Weird. Sam, what's wrong, huh? You always clean Vic this time of day. Are you sick? Do you need the vet? <laughs> I didn't say you could stop. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh my Washington. Ha. <laughs> 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 Go on, boy. Go ahead and play with your friends. Go on. Whoa, I'm at the dog park. So this is what it feels like. Hey there, Washington. Hey, guys. How's it going? Everything cool? Smells like him. Must be him. Wash, so, uh, how's that Mrs. L? Getting any home cooking table scraps these days? Yo, oh, yes. She makes the most delicious little pastas and dessert that makes your heart sing. Sometimes she makes the cutest little cookies that make you wanna... Uh, I mean, yeah, you know, it's good. It's good. What about you, dogs? Ah, uh, you know, chasing cats all around town. You know, the usual. Ugh, you're definitely not a very good cat, Washington. Do it the same way Sam does it, like a cat. <laughs> Gross, being a cat is a lot harder than it looks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Uh-oh, don't look now, Wash, but uh, here comes your little friend, Trouble. Washington, this is for you. 
<laughs> Let that be a lesson to you. So much drama when you're a dog. How exciting! Nope, we're not done napping. You're gonna have to act like a cat if you want the elves to believe you. That's it! Enough! I can't stand it! I need to run around, do something instead of napping all the time. Fetch a ball, go on a walk. Cats don't do that. Well, I do! And I can't go another day cleaning you! Yeah, well, I agree. You're pretty terrible at it. <laughs> yeah! I can use my natural energy and remarkable imagination to show Sam what an awesome time I'm having being a cat. He'll see how much fun it is and will want to switch back. Easy! That's your big plan? It's all I got. Here's what I'm going to do. You're going to <laughs> That's my wah wah. <laughs> I love playing with my cat toys. It's so much fun, better than any dog game. Wow, I love this cat scratching post. It's the best thing ever. I don't want to be a dog ever again. Being a cat is the best. The best. <laughs> oh no, Sam! The girls are in danger. You gotta save them. <clears throat> You're a dog. That's what dogs do. Go! Save them! <clears throat> I told you, being a dog is a high-pressure role. Us cats have to stay here and act scared. Hurry, they need you. Better. A little stretched out, but it's good to be back in my regular costume. <laughs> what about the girls? Oh, yeah, that. <laughs> Rescued? <Ooh>. Rescued. <laughs> that was way too close. <laughs> I never want to be a dog again. It's too hard having to be you, Washington. Yeah, this fits me much better. Yo, by the way, I met a girl at the dog park. I think she meant to give you this. Oh, <laughs> oh Wash, you're such a dog. Thanks, Vic. Hey, no worries. I had to get Sam back. You were a terrible cat, and I gotta have my daily cat bass in the morning. Um, come on, I wasn't that bad. Pretty bad. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Watch out. Whoops. Sorry, Vic. <laughs> oh, pff, kids. <laughs> what is that? <sighs> Don't worry, honey. It's only temporary. They're just putting it up for the kids' birthday party today. Oh, yeah, right. I'd forgotten. Phew! 
<laughs> They've got a lot of kids coming over. to be the one being chased and able to fly away. And why did they put that thing here? Probably to keep out the pesky neighbors. You can't catch me! <laughs> we'll see about that! <laughs> Ooh! I love this stuff! of other fun things you can do. Really? What, for example? Well, uh... It's so unfair. I just want to see the party. I can't see. I can't see. Whoa! It's awesome. If only you could see this. Huh? produces a great quantity of hot gases that are subsequently fired into the jet engine fuel compressor. Realistic. Eugenie! The moon! She's flying away! We've got to catch her! Yes! <sighs> it should be more quiet in the garden. Oh. Eugenie! We've got to follow her! <laughs> We're gonna do just like Eugenie! Yeah! <laughs> Are we supposed to be flying now? This isn't working. Susie, you follow her. We can't let her out of our sight.
moment. <laughs> Since mere balloons aren't enough, we're gonna become balloons! <laughs> hey, that tickles! Ma, <laughs> huh? did I just see? Nah, it couldn't have been. Could it? I'm flying like a bird. Tweet, 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 tweet. We just have to learn how to steer these things. Hey, yeah? this works. Sam, just start swimming. Look, Wash, one of us. Excuse me, my fellow mammal, but you wouldn't have seen a cute little piggy, or, uh, I mean, a rabbit floating by, would you? Come on, guys, there's more flying stuff! Huh? <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with him? You think he'd never seen a flying pig before? Uh -huh. <laughs> Gotta find you, Genie! Where did she go? Excuse me, but have you seen a... Uh, excuse me. Uh, that was rude. But also helpful. Look. Yeah. It's Eugenie. <laughs> Uh-oh. I don't like the sound of that. to get home. Eugenie, hang on. <laughs> How do you break with these things? here. And look how cute they all are, cuddling each other. Guys, please, remind me to never ever fly again. Ever. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. The city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Uh -huh. 
it's incredibly soft. What is that? Ah, fantastic, honey. Oh, so soft, like an angel's embrace. Don't get too comfortable. It's almost time for the movie. Now, where did I leave my purse? Oh, in the bedroom with the shoes. Like a puppy's ear. Or three-ply toilet paper. Wow, that looks really comfy. I need to try it. Amazing. Found it! Ready? Oh. Dream blanket. My nightmare. Come on, wake up, rise and shine. We have a movie to catch. Let's go, sleepyhead. No. Oh, wait. No, come on. Just five or ten or maybe thirty minutes more, please. <laughs> huh? ah! <laughs> oh, all right. Let's go. Just hang on one second. Nice and safe, where no animal hair can touch you. Let's go. Time for a little test drive. Ugh, gotta say, this is as good as it gets. Vic, didn't you hear Mr. L? He put that blanket up there to keep us off it. He didn't mean me, silly. This is what cats do. We nap on their stuff. Mmm, really is soft. Yay! I just remembered. I'm a cat too. If she can do it, so can I. Wait, Sam. I don't think that's such a good idea. <laughs> hey, that was about to be the best nap of my life and you just ruined it. Now you've got to put this blanket back up there, genius. After my second nap, that is. Ooh. How was it? How was it? Uh, well, I only got to touch it with my face for a second, but it was like floating on a cloud. Pet Victoria. For one thing, you're the cleverest. And easily the cutest. Don't tell the others. <laughs> what? What? What happened? I need it. I'm a cat too. Sam, it's my turn. That's strange. It felt so soft on my face. Oh, wait a second. I know why. I gotta take my costume off to feel it. Sam! So soft. Yeah. You're the best, Sam. So handsome. A real charmer. Handsome fit. You're even better than a real Sam, you are smarter than all of us and the bravest, too. Don't forget the funniest. <laughs> <laughs> Good one, Sam. <laughs> <laughs> Delicious. We love you so much, Sam. Because of you. We're the happiest humans in the whole world! Sam, what are you doing? You took your costume off? What's with you? 
What if somebody saw you? Wow! That was the best dream ever! And once and for all, stay away from that blanket! Uh, uh, oh. hmm? <laughs> Here, Washington, let me help you with that blanket. Nope, sorry. Wish I could believe you. <sighs> Look, there it is! Can we try it? Stop! I'll just wait right here until the elves get back, and they'll see that I was protecting it. <laughs> what? You genie! Susie? What are you doing? again. <laughs> oh, well, that was nice. It can't possibly be that soft. Can it? Ooh. Ooh. Oh, yes. That is delicious. You're the best dog, Washington. I can't believe you're my best pal. I'm the luckiest big cat in the world. I admit it, you're way cooler than me. We love you, Wash! <laughs> hey, Washington, or should I say, man's best friend. <laughs> that means you get to eat anything you want. <laughs> you're a good dog, Washington. Good dog. Good dog! Good dog! <laughs> I had it first and you took it away from me mid-dream! And it was an awesome dream, too! It's mine! I want it! I didn't get to have a real nap! Come on, give it! I know what you were trying to do! You tried to take it away from me while I was sleeping! How rude! Some friends you are! What's gotten into you guys? You are a cheap bed hog! That's so typical of you to take a cheap shot! That's just because you're jealous of me and my bunny hopping skills! Guys! Guys! I'm the one who tried to avoid bringing the blanket down, but you had to go and ruin it for me. And now look at the mess you caused, just like a wild boar! What? How rude! This is crazy! You've all gone mad! Move it, Fed Fox! Oh no! The Living Stones! Okay! That's enough! Washington! Why? Oh, 
Honey, I'm so sorry. We'll get you another one. Uh, just like it. It's okay. I know you didn't like it. Uh, oh. You can choose the new one. Okay. And no one will sit on that one. Is that clear? Wash, you're the best. You saved the day. That blanket had to go. Thank you. <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Sounds like a party going down. Yo, Yo Samba! Samba! <laughs> <laughs> hey! Woohoo! Bravo! Encore! Encore! You guys, for the sake of my sanity, please don't encourage those bozos. <laughs> <laughs> something even better. Hmm. Voila! Samantha, the queen of Samba! <laughs> Samantha! Samantha! <laughs> Enchanting. You should go outside and perform for the whole neighborhood. Yo, oh, how sweet of you, Vic. But you know, I'd much rather dance for you. What did I ever do to deserve this? I mean, I'm terrific. Hey there, sugar paws. It's just not right. They are the ones who are supposed to go outside, not me. The biggest, dumbest doofuses in the whole forest, and they had to pick my house. <laughs> no? Fang. The uh, one and only kid. So what do you say to a romantic stroll through the garbage far, far away from this uptight world of fences and kibble? No thanks. Some other day, perhaps. Great. What other day? Um, how about never? Never say never, Tiger Eyes. Trust me, Fang. The word never was invented to describe me walking around in garbage with you. Hmm. I just love it when you get all angry. You turn into such a wild cat. Fang, for real, get out of my face, okay? But it's uh. such a pretty face. Fang, I mean it! Well, Kitty likes to scratch. <laughs> what in the world is that? It's Victoria! <laughs> Adorable. <laughs> huh? Whoa! Check it out, Wash. Vic is fighting like a wild animal. Which is exactly what we mustn't do. We've got to act like well-behaved household pets. Which means... Well, for starters, we could cheer. Victoria! 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 Maybe we should separate them. <laughs> Come on, break it up, guys. I'm gonna come back for you, Vic. We're made for each other. You're the pussycat of my... 
Dreams? Who are you? <laughs> Good one, Samantha. Well, hello, Samantha. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, how quickly they forget! Who just saved you from the claws of Fang? Please, you really think I needed your help? <laughs> if I'm dreaming, don't wake me up. Oh, our rival, it is on. Bravo! Way to go! Awesome! <sighs> <sighs> Boy, I could drink a river. Me too. I'm thirsty just for watching. <laughs> <laughs> Watch where you're sitting. Hiya, doll face. Not again. How many times do I have to say forget it? Huh? You know, your eyes light up like a thousand garbage cans, and your snout is prettier than the city dump at sunset. Hmm. I do not believe this. He really thinks Sam is Samantha. <laughs> <laughs> Not bad, but I'm still thirsty. Me too! I could drink buckets! Let's check in the fridge. <laughs> Got milk? Well done, Eugenie. So, Samantha, what's it gonna be? Yes or yes? Samantha? Oh, now I get it. Listen, Fang, I hate to break it to you, but... Wait a sec, Samantha. Pretty please, play along with him. Do it for me. Yeah, well, why should I? It's the only way that weirdo will ever leave me alone. And because we're really good friends. No, that's true. We are very, very good friends, aren't we? Mm -hmm. Okay, but what exactly do I have to do? Samantha, don't send me packing. <laughs> Nick, so what should I do now? Pretend it's all a big game. You know, play hard to get. Every time. Mm. <laughs> huh? You pretty much get it. <laughs> Easy. Something, anything that says you care, baby. Yeah, she's crazy about me. Samantha, before meeting you, I didn't know what real beauty was. My fair feline, you focused my eyes. Compared to you, other lady cats are, well, tuna faces. What? That is crazy talk. You, you have the face of an angel, the fur of a tigress, lips made of velvet. Uh, Fang, remember me? Enough already! I'm the one you're supposed to be crazy about! What in the world is going on here? 
It's a game! Join in! Bang! <laughs> 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 look at me! I'm so pretty! What's wrong? Can't you see? Run after me! Me! Hey, Fang! Leave Sam alone! I knew it would come down to this. Ha! <laughs> Well, if my arch rival wants to fight to the bitter end over my beloved, let the duel begin! Wait a sec, Samantha, you want to win her heart? A wild boar, fake boy, cat prettier than me? It's final proof, Fang is crazy. Hey, I thought you were in love with Victoria. She's kind of blah compared to Samantha. You, Fang! Check out your sweetie Samantha now! Uh, what is this? You took my Samantha! <laughs> the prettiest girl I ever met is gone! <laughs> Great! Now you're back to worshipping me. And I never want to see you again! Fang! Don't be upset! This is what you've always wanted! Me! Fang, wait up! Remember my pretty face? Fang! Wanna explain? Well, it all started when you went off to get a drink of water. That reminds me! I'll be right back! Gotta go real bad! Like I was saying. Uh, just a sec! <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Flip, flip. Yay, summer vacation! My favorite time of the year. <laughs> Don't forget the sunscreen! <laughs> What's up, Vic? Oh, don't you know? It's summer vacation. The oh. elves and I go away every year, and it's pretty great. Yeah? What's so great about it? Relaxation, duh. Do you know how exhausting it is being a house cat all year round? But if you don't like lounging around all day and 24-hour access to an all-you-can-eat buffet, then you wouldn't like it. No! An all-you-can-eat what? Did you just say what I think you said? We're going to! Of course! You can't very well stay home by yourselves, can you? I never travel without it! Honey, look! The pets are all lined up and ready to roll! Good thing, too. We've got to get you guys to the kennel. Oh. Huh? The kennel! That's right! The vet said to arrive by noon! The k k k k kennel The vet? The living stones go on their summer vacation to the kennel? I thought the kennel was for pets! It is for <gasps> pets! The elves are leaving us there! That could be... fun? Did you not hear the part about the vet? The kennel is <gasps> his! We're going with them. Anyway, the kennel rocks. He'll love it. It's like a spa. You get groomed, brushed, bathed, Yay. scratched, massaged. We yeah. can't get groomed. They'll see our zippers. Wait, wait. What about the all you can eat buffet, huh? They keep a couple of big dishes of dry kibble out all day. It's not the greatest food, but it's there. Let's go. <gasps> oh. oh. What is 
gotten into you, pets. Come on, guys. We're going to be late for vacation. Ah, Mrs. Livingstone. I'll take Victoria in for her first spa treatment. But you can just drop off these first-time guests in the first room for a thorough exam. Thanks a bunch. See you guys in a week. Have a great vacation. Something. If he gives us an exam, we're goners! Let's see. Who have we got here today? An idea! An idea! Quick! Ah! Washington, Sam, Eugenie, and Sam. That looks scary, huh? Dressing news? Your pets have gone missing for the moment? Your naughty pets have run away momentarily. We are doing our best to deal with this inconvenience. House and we need your help. Do you still have your big game net from our college safari days? Come on, lad, get it! It's your only chance! Darn, it's all over. The old chap is too scared! Why, yes, I do. I'll be right over. Nothing would make me happier than to catch those pet-eating beasts! Oh, if only I wasn't such a baby! <laughs> Vladimir. But I... That's impossible, Velma. But you don't understand. 
I'm afraid, for dog's sake. I'm afraid. <laughs> I'm a coward. Pull yourself together, Vladimir. You're pathetic. Do I know you? It's me, silly Susie! Oh, sorry, I'm really relaxed. You gotta help us! Animal Control have Sam Washington and Eugenie Quired, and, well, we need their costumes back or they're gone! <laughs> you, little Miss Victoria, are going home to the Living Stones. Hopefully your impressive grooming will distract them from the fact that all their other pets are missing. This is your chance, Vladimir! Be a man! And show some guts! Please! We've got you surrounded! You're going back to the forest! Looks like this is it, Sam. It was fun until right now, Wash. Remember that time I shoved candy up my nose and had to sneeze so bad and you guys... <laughs> And on a minute too soon. Ah! Oh. Uh, hey, uh, hey, what's going on? We came straight away when we got your message. My car! We've got to find him, Doc! But... You've got to be brave, Mrs. L. <laughs> Don't throw the nets before we see the white of their eyes! We sure had some good times together, didn't we? We sure did! Susie! Victoria saves the day. Yeah! yeah. Quick! The suits! The suits? <laughs> Susie, do you have the suits? Me? No, they were with you in the cage! You must mm -hmm. be kidding! It was our very last chance! <laughs> what is so funny? <laughs> it was easier to carry that way. Hey, what's happening? No! 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 <laughs> Thank goodness! Oh! You said they'd run away! Uh, yes, well, they did run away, but uh, this is where they ran to! Home sweet home! Looks like they were just missing you two! We, we miss, miss them, them too. too! I'm so <laughs> glad our kennel could bring you closer together! I hate to interrupt this happy scene, folks, but we've still got some wild animals to track and catch! Are you coming with us, Vladimir? Uh, me? Uh... Uh, yeah, of course. Yahoo! <laughs> you know, honey. Yes, dear? Sometimes we forget just how good we have it right here at home. What would you think of a... Staycation? Exactly. What's more fun than staying right here and hanging out with our awesome pets? Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> the things I do for this family. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Flip, flip. You're ours, Golden Rake. Do you really think we have a chance to win the Golden Rake Garden of the Year contest? Absolutely. Rosebud, this is the year we finally win this thing. Uh, it's the first year we've entered. Exactly. I can feel it. No, not my flowers. Freeze, please. In 
inside. This yard is hereby off limits until the Golden Ray Garden of the Year contest is over. Stay inside all day? What are we supposed to do? Watch TV! <gasps> oh no! Vic is falling asleep in front of Fishbowl TV! Boring. <laughs> <laughs> Slick trick, Wash. Yeah. <gasps> Who's that? Barbarossas! When he wants to cool off, the Barbarossa rolls in the mud, just like his cousin, the wild boar. We're family. I can see the resemblance. Ha! Stay tuned for the entire season of The Wonderful World of Barbarossas. <sighs> What's going on? Mrs. Livingstone! <laughs> oh. The Babarusa likes to eat at any given time of the day. Oh. <laughs> Who would do such a thing? <laughs> <laughs> I hate to say it, but, well, do you think... Come on, Buttercup. Only wild animals could do such a thing. <laughs> Do you hear that? They think it was us. It's okay. We were watching the wonderful world of Babarusas all night. And how do we prove that? We're going to have to find the creature with no manners who did this. <laughs> Victoria Livingstone, where were you in the middle of the night? Tell him, you were in the yard. What? I was asleep. Having horrible nightmares thanks to your Barbarusa cousins. Cousins who like to run in the jungle and play in the mud. Ugh. Impressive, aren't they? In fact, they're showing the wonderful world of Barbarusas again tonight. Uh, no way. My turn. I'm watching Fishbowl TV. Where's the remote? Right here. <laughs> Give it! Ah! Barbarusas love to roll around in the mud. They never ah! <laughs> Scissors. Scissors. <sighs> Watering can. Watering can, stat. Watering can. Well? I think they'll pull through. Be strong. But if it happens again, I'm not sure I'll be able to save them. Don't worry, Daffodil. I'm going to stand guard all night. I still wonder a tiny bit. Was it really wild animals or our animals? Well, this gang can get a little wild. <laughs> <laughs> they think it was us. Well, it'll be extra sweet when we catch the culprit. We're going to get extra food. Yes! The is an extremely social animal. They regularly rub each other's snouts. Jim Redpod, spread out. The wild beast is escaping. <laughs> We're finally going to discover who the wild beast is. Stand. Sam? <laughs> Washington? Is that you? Oh no! Mr. Livingstone is going to see Sam without his disguise. This is a catastrophe. <laughs> Quick, Sam! Gotta get home. <laughs> <laughs> Did you find the wild beast wash? Don't move, boy. I'm coming. Way to go, Wash. You chased away the wild beast. Whatever it was, you saved our garden. 
<laughs> to think that we thought it could have been you. Sorry, boy. <laughs> Me, the wild beast? Impossible. You must have watched too many Barbarossa episodes on TV. <laughs> so, you started dreaming of Barbarossas. <laughs> Next thing you know, you were sleepwalking as one of them. <laughs> so I am the garden beast? Don't worry, I've got a great plan. All you have to do is stay up and not sleep at all until the Garden of the Year contest is over. Not sleep? But I love to sleep. <laughs> Almost here. Good thing Eugenie's keeping Sam awake. Yeah, but I'm not keeping Sam awake. Susie's doing it. I'm not keeping Sam awake because I'm here. <gasps> Sam! Sam! What's original about the Bobby Rooster is that sometimes it behaves like a cat. Huh? Indeed, sometimes he likes to play like a cat. Here they come. I can't stand it. Stay calm, Buttercup. I oh. am not. Not if we catch him before he does. Follow me, girls. Nice, Sam. Nice. <laughs> Actually, this show isn't so bad. Look at this. The wild boar is surprisingly fast on its feet. For a fatty, that is. <laughs> to our garden. The most peaceful spot in our home. Faced with danger, the wild boar proves to be a formidable adversary. <laughs> Understand. 
Honey, please! 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 <laughs> You're gonna stay here to think about what you've done. <laughs> At the end of the day, the Babarusa falls asleep. But sometimes, in the middle of the night, he wakes up. <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. I did. It's not every night your boss comes to dinner. Honey, you're a genius. Who doesn't love truffles, right? They cost a fortune, but... <laughs> These babies are gonna get me a tasty raise. The boss man will be very impressed. <laughs> you better keep your little nose out of these, Miss Victoria. So look, it's super simple. First, you throw it to the quarterback, who throws it to the runner over here. Hey, are you listening to me? <laughs> Football is fun! Get it! I got it! Yes! Hmm, that smell. What is that? Why is that so familiar? Uh, what's up with Sam? Oh, no! I remember it now! That smell is the smell of truffles! <laughs> Those precious truffles, they're nothing but trouble. They turn Sam into a maniac. They are his one true love. He loses control around them. Of course, there's not a wild boar in the world that can resist a truffle once he gets a taste. Yeah, we all love that smell, but you're gonna have to find a way to control him. Because guess who else is crazy for truffles? Babarusas? Mm -hmm. Humans! They cost a fortune! Mm, you don't say. I do. Mr. L's boss is coming to dinner tonight, and those truffles are for him. So if Sam so much as sneaks a nibble, they'll freak. <laughs> what about Eugenie? She's never tasted one, so it shouldn't be a problem. But this is not good. Girls, go get me anything you can find to plug up his nose, quick! Hey, buddy, what's up? Come on, <laughs> relax, take a deep breath. That's all we can find. This is for your own good, dude. <laughs> 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 Hold on a second. I've got an idea. I cured myself of balls of yarn with hypnosis. Let me handle this. Look at me. You do not like truffles. Listen to me. <laughs> Yeah, that really worked great. Truffles, truffles, truffles. Sam, please, stop! Why did you do that? My truffle tagliatelle is going to be divine if I do say so myself. Mm. <laughs> oh, no. I just couldn't control myself. Sorry. If you're sorry, you better make it clear you did it before we all get in trouble. We can be kicked out or even abandoned for less than that. Let's not be so dramatic. If he doesn't own up, I'll expose you and it'll be back to the forest for everybody. 
She's right, Wash. It's all my fault. I'm the one who should be punished. Wait, there's got to be another solution. Doubt it. I mean, we know where to find more. And where would that be? In the forest, a.k.a. our old neighborhood. We should be able to go and get back before dinner. Yeah, well, I don't see how you'll ever get enough. No problem. I've got the best truffle detector in the whole world. Sam's snout. Yeah? How are you going to keep him from eating them once he smells them? Working on it. What was that noise? It's nothing. Nothing but nice, fun nature. Okay, let's get going. Wait, don't the truffles only grow near... Yes, Mitch's cave. That's the one little thing. If Mrs. L comes back before those dummies return, I'm the only one who's going to get in trouble. We'll help you. We don't want you to get punished. You're going to help me keep her out of the kitchen. I've got a couple awesome ideas, naturally. Ready? Go! <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for keeping me out of trouble. No probs, bro. That's what best friends are for. <laughs> Did someone say best friend? I knew it was you guys. You missed Mitch, didn't you? Yeah, actually, no. <laughs> hey, Mitch. What a nice surprise. <laughs> and now we'll never, ever get separated again. No, seriously, Mitch, we're in a hurry. Okay. Salad fork, truffle fork, steak knife. Okay, just keep Mrs. L out of the kitchen for as long as possible. Mm -hmm. No, Eugenie, I'll play with you later, Bunny. Out of the way now. setting the table. Oh, the stress is getting to me. You guys could move in with me and do everything I say. It'll be great. You could bring me human food. Mm -hmm. huh? I should tie you up. Maybe you'd like to hang upside down from the tree all night. Oh, you guys want some cricket cookies? Hold on. I forget what a bad temper he has. No kidding. Remember the time we went swimming with him? <laughs> mm? <gasps> oh, you bought snacks. No! <laughs> it's not for you right now. <sighs> it's for after, after the show. Huh? What show? Uh, yeah, what show? The show to celebrate our reunion, Sam. The one we talked about? What are you talking about? We never talked about a show. <laughs> anyway, show time. Sam, why don't we start with a song? Uh, okay. I know Fairy Jacques. Okay. <laughs> Enough! My turn. I'm gonna do a wonderful magic trick. Choose a card. Any card. <laughs> no, honey. No, I'm busy. I'll play with you later. No, don't! You're gonna make me lose my balance. I've got just enough time to go and get new flowers. And you, little rascals, are going to go play in the yard. Shoot! Shoot! Ha-ha! <laughs> <laughs> my nose is dirty to itch. Oh, 
Hey, Mitch, I know a great magic trick, too. You do? Watch closely. I'm gonna go all around the cave without touching the ground. Ha <laughs> ha, yeah, right. Sam? Ta-da! Hocus pocus, flying fungus. Ha! <laughs> truffles! Truffles, truffles! Bravo! Is this part of the trick? Hey, you get back here and have more fun! Wow! Best magic trick ever! <laughs> Jumbos! 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 We're coming! <laughs> <laughs> What are you doing in here, you little rascal? Get away from my truffles! Okay, time to cook now. <laughs> Come on, honey. How could you know your boss was allergic to truffles? Uh, my career is over. Quite possible. But what am I gonna do with all of this now? Animals, come in here! <laughs> No point in letting the rest go to waste. Someone should enjoy my masterpiece while it's fresh. Well, you are officially the most spoiled pets in the neighborhood. <laughs> bon appetit, little ones. Oh. Oh. What's the big deal about these things anyway? 